do a multi-part series on in invoicing in here. Um, it's part that I think is um, not utilized enough in the system. So we're going to be working in contract and invoicing. This is an area where you can do your monthly invoicing, monthly progress billing, and um, then create the actual billing out of here and then track it. So what we want to do first is if we're going to do billing in here, we have to first set up our schedule of values. So I'm going to go to contract here. And just to look at a couple things in here, if I go to this other tab, I can put in a contract number if I have it. I could put in contract for structural and miscellaneous steel and fabrication and direction, you can put whatever it is there, um, what currency it's in, but then you can put here what the percent retainage is. That way it will uh, it will withhold the proper retainage percent on the invoices as we do. So then I'm going to go back to the contract items tab and then going to start putting in our schedule of values here. So I'm going to get a new contract item. I'm going to do one pretty simple. I'm going to do detailing. Note that the type here is either original contract or change order. We'll come back to change order in a in another series here. We're going to do um, original contract on this one, and we'll say fifteen thousand dollars. Note that I could tag it to a, a line in the schedule, and then the percent complete on that line would be a suggestion for what I should bill. I'm not going to do that on on this one here. I'm just going to leave it blank and go save. We're going to go to new, I'm going to put in fabrication. Of course, you could do this you know, as, as complex or as simple as you would like. So, go to new, and then I'm going to go to erection. And we'll say 50. Okay, so I have in a schedule of values here. I close this out. Here's my schedule of values detailing 15,000, fabrication 100,000, erection $50,000. If I close this down, I now have a contract value of $165,000. Cool. Very simple, very easy to get your schedule of values in there. So now it comes time for the first billing. And so we're going to go invoices and go new invoice. It knows that it's our first application. I could put in the invoice number if I wanted to, and we'll say that this is for July 1st through July 31st. I'm billing it on 721. Note here are our retainage percentages, which I could change on here if I wanted to. I am creating this, and I'm sending it to my client. Um, now, down here, it's very simple. All I have to do I can either put in a percent complete or a dollar amount complete or stored, either way. Um, so I'll show it to you both ways. Let's say I want to build half of the detail in here, and we'll go 50% complete on that and go apply to completed work. And note that I now have $7,500 in my completed work field. It moves down to the fabrication line item. Let's say that I want to build $25,000 there. So I'm going to go 25 note that it puts that 25,000 in there. So it's extremely simple to do this. Um, you could have your project managers do this right here and then just um, send it to um, send it to your finance department so they can so they can send it in or they could um, just utilize this information in order to um, put it on the contractor's forms if they have project-specific forms. So when I close that out and come back out here, I've got application number one. If I go up here to invoices and reports, you're going to see a couple couple forms here. Um, I'm going to open up both of these. This is going to be the, um, this is going to give me my two pages for my monthly billing. If I go here to this first page, I've got my contract amount. I've got the total that I'm billing this month. It takes out the retainage, which gives me twenty nine thousand two hundred fifty. This is my first certificate, my, my first application for payment. So there is no previous certificates for payment. 
So I'm applying for $29,250 this month with a balance to finish of $135,750. If I go to the second page where we see our schedule of values, you see the breakdown of what I'm billing this month, 20% complete on the project. So easy thing to do here, hit email PDF, shoot it off to whoever is going to be doing the final invoicing. But this can very nicely keep track of your what you've billed so far. And you can also very, very quickly produce a, a, a billing in order to send to your client. Next video, what we're going to do is we're going to include change order process in this and see how change orders um, come into play when we do our invoicing here. So check us out on the next one. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.